Gucci en plein travail pour vous montrer l'ambiance qu'il y avait ce jour-là. Pour Robert Smith, plus question de KR solo. Par contre, vous allez voir un groupe plus que jamais uni. Il est 14h ce jeudi, quand vous arrivez au Manoir. Manor Studios in Oxfordshire, finishing off our new record. Just to feel that the place that you're staying in is like is like your own home. That that's the best ambience for for, for making the group has found. Just to feel that the place that you're staying in is like is like your own home. That that's the best ambience for 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 making the group has found. That that's the best ambience for for making a record. Just so that that you don't have to travel to and from the studio each day. You just live there and it gradually becomes your environment. And this particular studio is very, very comfortable, very homely. Benefits of, of not recording in a town or a city. The, the main one, from my point of view, is that there, there is no one else about. There's no other people, um, and there's, so there's no noise. There's no squalor. Um, and the, the second thing is that because there's like nothing around, you can um, go out for walks and actually breathe fresh air. Because working in the studio, you spend like maybe 16 hours a day in a small room and breathing air conditioning and, and stuff. You, you go mad if you walk out the door and there's a street there and there's people like looking at you or cars going past. So whereas here we can keep the door open, you can have like birds singing and stuff. Very pastoral, very relaxing, which is why we've been here six months. So much of a plan coming into the studio and think right well, the last album sounded like this so therefore the next one makes it like this. Like, so such a gradual process so Simon was explaining about how the demos come together and they're all voted for each song was taken from like favorite songs from everyone's demo and gradually a list builds up of all the songs that, that, that we all like so it starts from there we all like it and, and so a certain mood of how the band feels as a whole and individually must influence the songs we choose to go on the record and gradually that becomes the mood of the album and sets the start of the next album rather than thinking how will this one sound. If this album were to come out and it was just like packed full of synths and kind of disco beat, um, there would be an awful lot of disappointed Cure fans. And I think, um, in, in one sense, we have sort of rediscovered guitars and and there's like a, a, a an aggressive and a sort of big atmosphere on this record. But um, I think, mo but most Cure fans haven't said that. I think most of the people that call themselves Cure fans, like Disintegration as a whole record. I think they were pleased with it. I th I, we were all really pleased with it. Mm. But you just you can't really um, be bothered to please everyone. But if you please generally, <coughs> you please less well. There are elements on it that are very poppy in the tradition of the cure, but at the same time, there's like some of the most brain damaged stuff on there, and um, stuff that's much heavier than anything we've attempted before. But that's what I'm saying. The, the diversity of the, of the album makes it very difficult to say this is, you know, anything. It's like if you say it's a really heavy album, people think, oh no, it's a heavy cure album. But 
it, parts of it are incredibly heavy, but some of it is like the, the most lightweight sort of idiot music. Um, but if you said this is a pop album, people would think, oh no, it's a pop album, but it isn't. So it's um, there's no point in calling it anything really. It's a wish. Any... It's a, a very peculiar in France. It's, it's about the weirdest country, really, for Cure fans in the whole world, because they're um, very intense. The most intense fans, I think, as a as a whole, you know, as a race, um, which is really good in one way, but it's very difficult in other ways because they expect so much all the time. It's it, very difficult to live up to their expectations all the time, um, and sometimes we do things, I think, in France on purpose to try and shatter the myth and we act rather more stupidly in France than we do anywhere else <coughs> because it's um you know there's too much to expect a, a group any group really to to be perfect Well, we've got plan. We have sort of like vague plans. Um, we know that we're going to play in Britain in April, and we know that we're going to play in America and Australia in May, June, and July. And then it gets a bit vague. But we think that we'll go and play in um, Europe, like you know, France, Italy, Spain, that part of Europe. September, October. Yeah. But it will definitely finish by Christmas. Mm. It seems a long time. Yeah, the rest of this year is definitely taken up, but can't really see, can't plan what's going to go on after no. that at the moment. <laughs>